you know, it's really funny. Um, a lot of times I, um, I feel bad about myself. Right. Like, and then the reason is, is that there's so much conversation about success in academia and it's particularly bad in the business school um, or like in business schools, period. Right. Like that there is winners and losers and competition and there's this kind of like economic logic that we have that if you get ahead, I don't get ahead. You know, this is our basic story, and then I feel bad about myself, right? Like the the translation is that you are not good enough, right? Um, and you know, I think about that. And here's the really interesting thing that I find, and this is well known problems that we have in terms of research methodologies. Um, what we see, success that we see is a fiction, right? First of all, it's made up, right? The sort of stories that people say, they're all made up um, and it's a fiction and you you define the criteria at which you create success, right? So success is a very simple definition um, technically and that is some performance based on doing better than some expectation of what that performance was, where that behavior was gonna be and what's fascinating is that we redefine all of this stuff always. You talk to somebody, you talk to anybody in any field and they'll be like, well, this is my definition, right? And then they'll, they'll, they'll say how successful they are. And you're, you're like, what, what, what? Wait, you mean, it's not the same as mine, right? Like I don't view that in the same sort of way. Um, that's questionable. Um, or, you know, somebody will say that I'm the, the top so-and-so in, in basket weaving, um, climbing up top a tree in the middle of the ocean, like some sort of really narrow thing. You're like, what? Um, you know, like really silly criteria. Um, and sure, they, they probably are, right? Like legitimately are in that particular thing because the criteria is so, so sillyly chosen. Um, then on the other side of it, we have what is called the sample selection bias, right? Like massive sample selection bias. The only people that talk like that, the ones that, uh, you know, are successful in their eyes, um, the only people that, that talk like that have made it through, um, you know, we were supposed to draw inferences based on on this very biased data set, extremely biased data set. And um, if you were to draw inferences on it, they'd be all goofy, right? Like the, to give you an example of this, right? So years ago during the second world war, they used to look at, um, you know, the planes that were shot down, um, sorry, the, the, the planes that um, made it through the war and then they would reinforce the parts where there was bullet holes in it because, you know, that was damaging. What they weren't seeing were all of the planes that were being shot down. This is a classic problem. And so they're reinforcing all the ones that were making it through, um, but the ones that didn't make it through, they were not giving any, you know, just not fixing any of those issues that was going on with that. Um, and this problem is pervasive, right? Like, like we're trying to draw from this sort of silly, in, silly, silly inferences based on, on just poor data. Um, you know, my thing is, and what I've learned is to really just be true to yourself as much as you can and block out all the nonsense. Right. And almost all of it is nonsense. It's all fictions. It's all made up. Um, and you talk to somebody, it'll be a different fiction and how they define themselves. And it's just, it's really, it's taxing to be honest. It really is taxing to have these conversations about success all the time. And, you know, so-and-so is successful and so, so-and-so is not, um, it's just taxing. And I would just have you think about instead 
uh, yeah, you're pretty good um, and you're doing okay. Uh, the other thing to, to know is one other thing is that the people that are very successful, um, like super successful, they may not be the characters that you want to mimic anyways, right? Like um, they don't represent you. And, you know, maybe that they, they have priorities that are completely different than yours, they have different backgrounds, all those kind of things is not representative. Right? So I want you to think about instead of, of you know, being successful, I want you to instead think about how can you be more of who you actually are and just be a genuine human being that is nice and that is doing okay and build up the walls around that as much as you can. And, you know, screw the success, all of that kind of stuff, and just be yourself, be who you are, and repeatedly think about that. How can you be more of a better person? And we all know what a better person is. I think that's, you know, we, we some of you are going to split hairs. I know some of you are academic-y types that listen to this. Um, I'm going to say this BS. You know what a good person is. They're um, not self-centered. They're going to look out for other people. Do, you know, just be helpful, all that kind of stuff. Um, and not condescending and, and sort of nonsensey kind of stuff. But that's all I wanted to say is quit focusing on success. Go do some good things and get back out there. All right, take care.